Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, I've got some really cool news for you guys. Uh, so, first of all, you can see that it's still July 1st. It's about 16.04 in the afternoon. Um, but I'm bringing you back at this point because look what has come up in the sales. The big M450 and uh, also the square silage bale uh, wrapper. Uh, two things that I need uh, and have been waiting for. Uh, there's also a nice 8RT John Deere, but that's a little bit beyond uh, our means at the moment. So, uh, yeah, look at that. I've been waiting for this uh, to come uh, back up in the sale for a long time. I, I think it has popped up once or twice early on in the series, but there, you know, there was no way we could even conceive about possibly affording it at that point in time. Um, so yeah, this is 22 months old, so it's not too terribly old. If, you know, if in real life, that wouldn't be that old at all. And, uh, we, we already know everything there is to know about this, this baby. <laughs> and so I'm really excited to, uh, uh, to get it and we are going to get it. Um, and we're going to also purchase this too. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just buy this one right straight up right now. Well, actually, before we do that, uh, let's, let's take a look at our money here, our ledger. Uh, so we spent fifty six seventy five on that windrower uh, in, I think it was the last episode here in July. We have spent uh, $695 in repairs. I do need to repair my tractors, but I've been kind of holding off on that because money's been a little bit tight. I don't know where this $44 in production cost came from. I, I'm a little bit baffled about where that came from, but somehow or another, we made 44 bucks there. This is uh, the money that we made off of the extra bales that were sold after the contracts completed on the fields. I overestimated how many uh, we needed there. So we lost some of those. And when I say lost some of those, I mean, July is the worst month to sell bales. I would have rather have saved them and put them in our own barn, but I underestimated how many that they needed. So, or overestimated, I guess I should say. Um, so yeah, anyway, we got paid for them. So it wasn't a total loss. It's just that we would have been able to get more value out of them if we would have been able to keep them. We spent uh, this much money on fuel to refuel the borrowed equipment, which is the rule of this series. When we borrow other farmers equipment, we have to refuel and wash their vehicles before returning them. We made about $4,500 off of oat sales uh, from two of the, the harvest contracts that we did. They were oats. Uh, I did manage to get over 8,000 liters, which is all, almost a full chicken silos worth of wheat from the wheat fields that we did. And that's sitting in the train station right now. Our gross income from the contracts this month was 114,637. That was both from the hay, the harvesting, and a few cultivating contracts that I did off camera. This is how much we paid our workers. This is the charge at the train station for storing this, the, the wheat and the barley. And um, so we actually uh, profited, uh, or gained or netted $111,975. Uh, but of course the reason I don't have that money right now is because I paid off that hundred thousand dollar bank loan that we had to take in order to, to, you know, put up the new warehouse and move the chicken, chicken coop and all that in the last episode. I think that was the last episode. Okay. So that means we're sitting at $39,235. All right, let's go ahead and hop into here and we're going to purchase this right now. Uh, let's let's change the foil color to black just for something different this time around. And there isn't anything else to configure on this. Uh, so let's buy it. And um, there we go. We now have our own square bale wrapper. And we're going to want to repair it uh, because it's a bit... No. Grab this. Now, whenever you buy something used... Uh, it does need some uh, repair, sometimes a significant amount of repair. Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on. Behave there, Mr. Toolbox. Uh, $346 to repair it. It's about, still about two-thirds. And, of course, we don't care about the paint. All right, nice. Uh, this is a 38-month-old machine, so it's kind of getting up there in age. But for what it is... Uh, that hardly matters. I mean, we're only going to use it on occasion for just a small period of time, and it should last us the whole rest of this playthrough. Uh, cool. Okay, so we got the bale wrapper. Now, before we purchase the uh, the big M, and obviously we're going to have to take out another loan to do it, but I'm not passing this opportunity up. We're not going to need the the Pottinger mower. <laughs> it's too doggone bad. <laughs> 
I bought that too. We just bought that. It was it the last episode or the episode before? Ah, whatever. Okay. So we can re we can sell the Pottinger mower and we can also sell our front coon mower uh, over there because we don't need them. Um, and that'll get us a little bit of money back to help offset uh, the money that we're going to have to borrow from the bank in order to get the big M. But, you know, again, I'm not worried about it because we have a lot of money tied up uh, in our pallets and in our silage bales when come January we are going to make a bunch of money, uh, maybe even a million bucks. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually make a million bucks this year. We'll see. Okay. Oop. But yeah, there's no point in keeping, I mean, we could keep this mowing equipment and we could have a worker, uh, yeah, we, hmm. We could, we could put a worker on one field while, while we're doing another one. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I, I, I think we, we need to be, we still need to be as frugal as possible at this point. Um, here, I got to adjust my wheel rotation again. Okay. Actually, it's fine. It felt like it was off a little bit. Oh, speaking of that. Um, I have purchased uh, and have already had delivered a Thrustmaster a TH8 sh uh, shifter, 8 shifter. I primarily got that for American Truck Simulator, but I can use it to some extent here in the in Farming Simulator 2. When I say to some extent, it doesn't quite work perfectly. Uh, for example, the reverse slot on the shifter seems to be hard-coded to the menu and I can't change it which is really weird um, the other thing about farming simulator 2 is not all vehicles are, have a manual transmission now the man truck does and I can use the shifter for the most part on the man truck okay but both of my tractors the New Holland and the McCormick are you know variable transmissions and and they're they're just automatic I can't make them manual so there's that too. So uh, I'll mess with it a little bit. I do currently have the man truck set up for manual shifting. Um, the other thing I, I, I haven't been able to figure out yet though is that it, it skips from first to third to fifth. So it's skipping a gear and there's probably some kind of range setting or something that I have to figure out on that too. Uh, but the other, the other part of that news is that I have also uh, purchased the... Um, track IR and so uh, that is going to come sometime next week and when that happens then we'll have head tracking that we can use again in American Truck Simulator but also here in Farming Simulator and you know other games down the road like racing games and stuff like that so those are kind of my basically my birthday presents so my birthday is coming up here in about nine days on September 11th yes I know worst day in recent American history and that's my birthday <laughs> I always, I always have to work, uh, go on a business trip on my birthday too, which really sucks, but it is what it is. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, let's get these down to the shop here. We'll get them repaired, repainted. I have discovered that it is worth repainting stuff before you sell it. Uh, you do make a, a little bit more money. It's not a ton, but you make a little bit more, so you might as well do it, right? And this will, again, help offset a little bit what we have to borrow from the bank. And, and I know... Some of you might be thinking I should just keep this stuff and, you know, put a second worker on it. And I don't disagree with that, but I think it's more important for us to be to be frugal and borrow the least amount of money from the bank as possible at this point in time. I suspect at some point in the, in the future, we're going to have money coming out our ears and then stuff like this isn't even going to matter, but it still matters right now. So, okay. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and that doesn't need to be repaired at all. So right now it's going to cost us $1900 to repaint this. We can sell it for 3884. Um so if we repaint it, now we sell it for 5974. So we just make, I don't know, another 150 bucks or something off of it somewhere around in there uh, by doing that. So it is worth doing. Okay, so let's sell this. And then um, for the Pottinger, it also does not need to be repaired. 
We can sell it right now for $55,456, but if we repaint it, it comes up to $65,893. So again, we're making a couple hundred bucks extra by doing that. Okay, now let's sell this. And there we go. Okay, so that gives us gets us up to $82,150. All right, let's go back home. And then we'll figure out how much money we have to borrow from the bank to buy the big M and also still have a little bit of operating cash on top of that. So we'll just uh, pull out the calculator and figure that out real quick here. Oh, I know what's wrong with my wheel. The dead zone is all screwed up on it. Okay, I gotta fix that. Why anybody would want that much dead zone is beyond me, but I guess maybe some older wheels need it or something. <laughs> um, you know, when I was messing around trying to get the gear shifter set up, the game assigned it to all kinds of weird stuff that you wouldn't want a gear shifter assigned to. Uh, so I ended up inadvertently resetting all my controls, so I had to redo those, which is pretty significant if you're familiar with setting up controls in Farming Simulator. Um, I think I have to do that outside of the game. All right, I'll mess with that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into here. So let's just figure this. We need $171,000 to purchase this. Okay, so I'm going to get my calculator here. 171,000 dollars minus 82,150. Then we need to borrow 88,000 dollars from the bank, but again, I want some operating cash too. So let's just borrow 100 grand from the bank. And uh, wrong menu. Let's go here. And I just paid the bank off too, but it's the way it works, man. Got to take advantage of this when it happens. Okay, so we're going to borrow $100,000 here. Okay, 100000 bucks there. And now we can purchase the Big M450. Um, I've already looked at the different wheel setups, and I'm just going to stick with the Trello Parks. They're fine. For whatever reason, we can't... I'm sorry, wheel brands. We can't change the wheel setup it's grayed out so if you're interested these are what the other tires look like so we'll just get, stick with the trello boards and yeah i don't know why maybe it's because it's used or something <coughs> excuse me why we can't adjust that but we can't and that's fine whatever okay here we go ah we are now the proud owners ladies and gentlemen of a big m 450 it is a wonderful feeling. <laughs> oh man, this thing's beautiful. Okay. Goes 15 miles per hour, has a 10 meter working width. It's just a monster for cutting hay. And we own it. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I love it. This game is so fun. All right, guys. So let's see. We need to reseed our. Uh, greenhouses the the seeds are getting pretty low there and let's see we filled these up in january and it's it's july we could probably go to the end of of the month but there's yeah let's not do that let's just go ahead and get these reseeded now um and hopefully we should have enough seed in our silo to to fill all of those back up i've used a little bit of that seed for some contracts too um, we'll put the tractor back in here for now. Let's try out uh, the man uh, with the manual shifting. Um, okay, so I can put it into first, but I'm going to go into second with my shifter. But see how it pops right into third? That's not really a problem, actually. It kind of needs to, to do that. But there's probably some kind of a range setting that I need to you know, figure out on here to to get it to 
to work properly. Okay, so now to put this one in reverse, since I can't use my stick for that, I have to use the paddles on my wheel, which works. We'll just stay in R1 and get up to our trailer here. Okay, and then, oh, <laughs> I stalled out the engine. Okay, it does. It makes me um. It makes me uh put the clutch in too because I have it set to do that, of course. Um. Okay, so why? There you go. Now you're in neutral. So it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but it's kind of fun, you know. Adds a little more realism to the game, I suppose. I, I'm sorry that I keep messing with my nose, but I'm. Kind of having a little bit of seasonal allergy issues today. Okay. In fact, I, I mean, we could even probably start off in a, in a higher gear if we wanted to. Okay, so we'll pull over by the seed here. Okay, paddle shifter to go backwards and also let's whoops sorry let's also lock or block the trailer oh look it's already blocked okay fine okay and then open the cover and fill up with seed I stalled it out again <laughs> That's funny. Um, wait a minute. Is that all of our seed? We have more seed than that, don't we? Um, oh, maybe that is all of our seed. Okay. Let's pop back out of reverse. Oh, it just stays in reverse. Okay. Yeah. I just got to get used to this is all. There we go. All right. We can probably start in fifth gear. Start overloading. Oh, man. Okay. Let's put this in neutral. Are we really out of green? We are. Wow. I must have used more in those contracts than I thought I did. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Not green. Seed. We might have to purchase some more seed here. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's go ahead and, yeah, I can start in fifth gear. Let's just start filling and then, you know, uh, I'll just buy whatever else I need because it's, you know, it's important to keep these greenhouses going at full production. Let's shift a little more there. It's fun having the shifter, though. It just, you know, like I said, it just kind of makes things more realistic. There we go. Okay, make sure we're in neutral here. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to buy some more seed. <laughs> oh, no, this is terrible. Um, okay, so that means a more, probably, we're going to have to take out another another loan. Back that up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Um, here, let's. Well, we're gonna have to take this. We're gonna have to take this back over anyway. So switch out of here. And I, I was actually messing with something else real quick there. Ah, oh, crap. Back to here. I need to actually put it into neutral first. So that way I can go right into uh, reverse. 
Yeah, it's a little weird. It doesn't... What The way it should work is I should be able to just pop it directly in reverse with my stick, but, you know, this is what happens when I do that. It goes into this menu, and I can't unmap that setting on this on this stick it's really weird so it is what it is we just have to have to get used to the way it works i suppose it's still fun though having the shifter okay so put that in neutral pop that into reverse The bat, this trailer turns really quickly, so you have to be real gentle on the... Uh, okay, pop that out of reverse. There we go. And we're in neutral. Okay, so how much money do we need just to simply fill this thing back up? We need $27,000. Uh, let's just borrow another thirty from the bank. We got it. We got to do it. So, yeah, we want that to be 130. Well, we don't want it to be, but I kind of don't have a whole lot of choice here. All right, and we'll buy all those seeds. We might as well just fill it up because we're going to need them, you know, not only for the greenhouses, but for more sowing contracts that come up. Okay, now we should be able to fill this guy up. My lights are flickering. Okay, looks like we're full. Very good. All right, let's uh, get out of reverse. And can we start off in seventh gear? Oh, we can. <laughs> okay. That's uh, I, 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 it doesn't really seem to simulate <coughs> things realistically. I mean, most I don't think most trucks would normally start out in seventh gear with a full load. I don't know. What do you guys think? That seems a little bit unrealistic to me. Not in seventh gear. Or maybe they can. I don't know. All right. Uh, looks like we overshot it just a little bit. There we go. Uh, we should switch also to the full rain door. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't want to tip on the side. I want to tip on the back. Tip side back. There we go. Okay. So this, yeah, this guy should be full. All right. Let's pop into neutral here. And nope. There we go. Start off in seventh gear. So this is really fun, man, because now I now I'm using the clutch on my pedal for the first time too. I love it. <laughs> it's gonna really be cool when we uh, start playing ATS with uh, this setup. Because shifting is so much more important than ATS, uh, American Truck Simulator. That is a big part of that game. Well, unless you decide to go automatic, but who, who wants to do that on a trucking simulator, man? You want to shift in that. At least that's the way I look at it. All right, where's the trigger? Did we not... S oh, there it is. Yeah, that's weird, man. All right. Well, anyway, I'll get the rest of these filled up with seed. And uh, I think what we're going to do after that is I'm going to cut the camera. And we're going to finish out July and then probably go all the way through August. And I'll bring you back at the end of August with an update unless, uh, you know, something else occurs to where I would want to bring you back before then. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in uh, at the end of August with an update. All right, guys, I'm bringing you back. It's uh, actually all, only August 1st, uh, but I took 
three pretty good sized sorghum contracts and we're just about at the tail end of it and we might even be able to keep some of this grain but I, I still have more out on the field to, to bring in too so let's go ahead and start dumping this I'm gonna switch to the um, to remember which key to use for this now I think it's seven yeah uh, I want to use the grain door for this so we can stop it sooner if uh, if it completes so we should probably get I'm, I'm guessing 1% transported for field 74 oh okay so looks like we still have that other field that we have to go through too okay I'm expecting to get at least one full chicken silo load from this, maybe even one and a half ish. We'll see what happens here. Fifty percent for field. Okay, yeah, it's gonna take all of this then. All right, let's take a look at the contracts. Um, so 56 and 58 are completed, but it's still, we still have 91% to go on 74. Okay. Uh, also, I took some fertilizing contracts. Uh, there are, there's a big potato harvesting contract that pays out $23,000, but they're not giving me the biggest potato machine and that's a large field. So I don't know <laughs> it'll take such a long time to do it. I'm still debating whether or not to take that though. Uh, and then there's a 6,000, you know, potato harvest also, but same thing. I mean, this is an even smaller machine. I, of course, if we, if we did that, we would use the machine for 57 anyways. And then we have a plowing contract that came up. Now, when I finish these harvesting contracts, those fields will almost certainly, um, you know, then come up for cultivation too. So we can hit those as well. All right. Well, Let's get this worker back to the field then, and then we'll pop back there ourselves and uh, keep on keeping on. So we'll just have you park right here, I guess. Okay. And then we'll switch back to the field here. And uh, you are... Oh, yeah, we want to be in the combine. Okay. So we're just about finished with the sorghum. So we're going to have to dump some of what's in that trailer, but probably some of what's in the trailer and then the rest of this grain we'll be able to keep for our chickens. And then we'll, as usual, start in the train station. One of these days I will actually get a silo. But, I mean, the train station works out. It's not that far away. It doesn't cost that much to rent it. So it's just not a real high priority right now for us to get a silo. This is a really nice combine though, man. Very, uh, very nice machine. It goes 26 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll own it someday or, or maybe something else. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, there is also um, there's this Kloss tractor. This is a large tractor on sale for 125000 And if we did get it, we'd want to upgrade to the largest engine, which then brings it up to 445 horse tractor. Um, but I'd have to take another almost $200,000 more loan to do it and it would be really nice to a have a third tractor and b have a high horsepower tractor like this but again it's just you know in the big picture and it's got 28 months so it's not super old but in the big picture i i still don't think that's that's probably not the right move for us as tempting as it is okay So let's finish out this sorghum and then we'll see, you know, what we end up with ourselves for our chickens. And then after that, uh, we'll decide what to do next.
Okay, so that wraps up that. Now, what we could... I think that oat field over there... Uh, here, let's look at the map here. 63 is available. I just haven't taken it. We could knock that out really quick. We get in $1,000 plus, you know, a few hundred more dollars from a tiny bit of oats. This one was the potato, right? What's this? That's the same thing. We could just re quickly knock out both of those since they're right in the vicinity. Uh, wait a minute. No, 81. Whoops. 81 is actually way over back this way. What is 81, actually? That's oats. Oh, 63 is... Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm all, I'm all confused here. 63 is wheat, not oats. I mean, same thing, though. Um, all right. Well, let's get this driver on his way. Or her way, as the case may be. Up the Johnsons, and then once they get up there, we'll pop up there and dump off the rest of that. We got the the other uh, truck or tractor with us. Yeah, we might as well knock this field out. It'll take us all of like three minutes. But I don't know if I'm going to drive all the way back for that little oat field, though. We could even uh, come down here and grab another bale or two of straw, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I've got so much straw, it's coming out my ears. Oh, I guess we better take the contract first, eh? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Uh, 63, okay. Accept that contract. All right. Okay, let's just get this knocked out real quick. Okay, so our guy is up at the field. While we're in this tractor, we might as well pull him over. You can just wait here for now. Here we go. Oh, yeah, got to put the clutch in on this vehicle. Okay, let's start off in fifth gear, I guess. Let's make sure you're set to tip side um, grain door. Okay, we just got to stop it as soon as it finishes. Oh, hold on. I screwed that up. Tip side grain door. There we go. Hit the wrong button. Okay, so that leaves us with 6,389 liters, which is actually a little less than I thought we would get, but it's all right. Um, well, actually, hold on a second. What is the price on sorghum right now? We don't technically really need more chicken food at the moment. We might be further off ahead just selling it if it's good. What We are in August. Oh, <laughs> like the worst time ever to sell it. Okay. No, we'll we'll keep it and, and take it back. Uh, take it to the train station. Okay. Alright, well, um I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera here. Uh let's take a look and see what else is coming up. So yeah, we got a bunch of all these fertilizing contracts. These harvesting contracts, which we can... No, I don't want to turn those in quite yet. Um, 
we'll turn those in, and then these will almost certainly turn into cultivating contracts for us. And I don't know that there's anything else really worth doing. The only reason I did that wheat field because it was right there. And then I, I have to decide if I want to do those potato potatoes or not. Um, potatoes and sugar beets are just a lot of work. They take such a long time. And the product itself, you know, what you end up with at the end, even on a big field, you don't make that much money off of it, like two or 3,000 extra bucks. So it's uh, it's debatable whether or not it's worth doing, um, considering how much time it takes. So I'll, I'll think about it, uh, whether or not I'm going to do this or not. So, all right, I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. And it is August the 3rd, and uh, we are pretty much finished with the month of August. So let's take a look at our leg uh, le ledger. Uh, this is what's on sale, by the way. Nothing there that we are interested in. Um, so let's go here and take a look-see here. So oh, actually, the first thing I want to say is that I still couldn't get the XML file for the warehouse mod to deduct the right amount of money. Um, so I'm going to, I mean, it was deducting some money, but not the right amount. And so I, I think I'm just going to, so I set it back to the default setting, which is supposed to be $60 a day. And I'm just going to pay uh, the worker outright. And I didn't actually pay the worker for um, July. Uh, so we actually owe our, our worker twice as much money. Um, so hopefully they, uh, apparently, <laughs> I don't know, they're still working for us. They haven't quit because I guess they knew we'd be good for the money. I don't know. We'll just pretend like maybe nothing happened. Okay, so anyway, we're supposed to pay $3,200 a month, so we're going to pay $6,400. Uh, this, again, is for both July and August. Okay, so that has been taken care of. Okay, now let's go back. Nope, not there. Uh, let's go back into the ledger. Uh, okay, so we didn't purchase any vehicles in August. Uh, vehicle running costs, that's just for the repairs we had to do. That's the property maintenance. Uh, once again, somehow or another, we're making money off of production costs, and I still haven't figured out where that money's coming from. I've looked at all of my greenhouses, and none of them are set to sell. So there's something else here at play. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, so anyway, at least we're getting money and not losing money. Uh, we spent this much money in fuel. This was our harvest income, uh, just from a little tiny bit of grain that we uh, had left over after turning the contracts in. Uh, keep in mind, too, that I have over 6,000 liters of sorghum uh, at the train factory, or I'm sorry, the train station. And we also dropped off, well, it was about a little under 900 more liters of wheat uh, from that small field that we, we did, too. Um, okay, so our, our total uh, gross contract in, income for the month was 28941 this was the wage payment. Um, the miscellaneous money, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And then the loan interest uh, is $288. We currently have a loan of $130,000. And our current balance is $26,751. Okay, so if you guys remember, we I did that one little wheat field that paid out $1,004. Um, but then I, I, I finished it. Yeah, I had finished the the contract, but I hadn't turned it in, and then I had to leave in real life. I had to had to log out of the game and go do something. When I came back and logged back into the game, that contract uh, came up, but then it like disappeared before I could ex uh, you know before I could accept uh, or turn it in to get the money. Um, and so what I ended up doing is I just gave myself one thousand and four dollars. Um, you know, from the admin menu, which I guess is reflected here because we just took out $6,400. Yeah, we just took out $6,400. Um, but this is only five, uh, five, uh, 5396 I hope that makes sense. So, so the long, the long and short of it is that I, had to give myself a thousand and four dollars, which 
would have showed p positive here under miscellaneous until we, you know, deducted that money for our worker. Okay, so anyway, I hope that makes sense. Um, one thing I have noticed about this game is that if you, you know, if you finish a contract but you don't turn it in before you log out and log back in, weird things can happen. That's not the first time I've had some weird issues with contracts logging out without turning them in. But, you know, the problem with, with that is that I might not be completely done with the equipment even though that particular contract is done. Um, and that's why... Uh, you know, I don't always turn them in. So anyway, yeah, it happened. Okay, so we are, like I said, finished for August. Uh, we have in storage, uh, yeah, we have 9,656 liters of wheat after I added that extra 800 and some odd from that field. Uh, we still have 31,000 in barley, and then we we got the 6389 in sorghum, which is about two thirds or so, a little over two thirds of a silo full. Well, almost exactly two thirds of a silo full right there. Um, so we're, we're we have lots of chicken feed. You know, probably in. Uh, I mean, if we only went with one chicken coop for the next two years, we probably have at least two years of chicken feed uh, wrapped up there. So that's really good. And let's see, as far as our warehouse goes, um, we are currently sitting on. Let's see here. Uh, we have fifty five ninety nine eggs in the warehouse this is the you know this is the new warehouse uh we still have all of those pallets inside of the cold storage too uh, and they're still causing me performance issues uh so we currently have eighty-five thousand and thirty-nine liters of lettuce 19,256 liters of tomatoes and 38,158 liters of strawberries and those are all just automatically being distributed over to the new warehouse and that's why of course i'm paying our worker because we are uh, our workers actually doing that work or at least that's what we're, what we're role playing it to be uh okay so yeah i think that wraps us up for august so in september i need to cut my hay and we're gonna be able to use our crone awesome yeah so we're gonna cut our hay in uh september i'll do any contracts that come up that are worth doing and then we're going to roll right on into october and we'll be able to do the third uh hay cutting for the farmers and, you know, whatever other contracts um, may come up then. All right. So I will, um, I'm not sure when I'll bring you back um, for like, you know, just a normal full episode. So I'll probably just bring you back again for end of September, end of October updates. And then we'll, we'll kind of, uh, you know, just play things by ear. Uh, what, you know, my high, highest priority right now is to get that stupid bank loan paid back off. Well, it's not a stupid bank loan. It's because of that bank loan that we we're able to get the crone. Um, you know, but I just don't like being in debt. So that's going to be our highest priority is to get that thing paid off. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't, have, shouldn't have any trouble paying that thing off by, you know, the end of October, if not sooner. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video and we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.